On returning to Britain, he met and married his first wife. In one account, this first wife was Fiona and they married eight years before his second encounter with Silurians. His first wife was Lance Corporal Sally Wright, the adjutant to his mentor Major General Hamilton. They were engaged after the event. Despite this, Lethbridge Stewart was aware he didn't love Sally and this was just a marriage to a friend who would understand his career. Colonel Lethbridge Stewart, while serving in Libya with the Scots Guards 2nd Battalion, was called back to England on the request of his old mentor and friend, Colonel Spencer Pemberton, to assist with the London event. He was airdropped into London after the web fully surrounded the city. He replaced the deceased Colonel Pemberton, who was killed in hand-to-hand -hand combat with a Yeti. He and driver Evans were the sole survivors of a robot Yeti ambush at Holborn before heading down to the London Underground to take command. It was at this time that Lethbridge Stewart first met the Doctor, in their second incarnation. Lethbridge Stewart showed a quick, decisive manner, though with a brief moment of shell shock after losing a second platoon in a running battle, and a ready acceptance of events, even believing the story about the TARDIS from the start. With the Yeti defeated, Lethbridge Stewart, living in a small flat in Pimlico, had to help with the repopulation of London, the sight of the deserted city depressed him. Lance Corporal Bell and Major Walter Douglas assisted him, even suggesting the United Nations as a sponsor, but Major General Hamilton vetoed this, saying the UN would not back them and it was unlikely the British Army could afford a new force. Hamilton convinced him to seek out further proof while the general worked on high command. The proof came when an investigation into a walking corpse and his missing mother led him back to Bledo, where he became aware of another incursion from the great intelligence. Here, Lethbridge Stewart learned the origins of the intelligence and its connection to the death of his older brother in 1938, though he was unable to truly remember his brother, much to the dismay of his old friend Raymond. The great intelligence was repulsed from Bledo and finally killed, though Lethbridge Stewart was aware that this was a time traveler and the contemporary intelligence could still attack. Following these events, Lethbridge Stewart found himself with a new nephew, Owain Vine, the reincarnated soul of James. To his annoyance, the army considered this third attack by the alien to be part of a one long, three-stage, attack. He decided to investigate India, apart formerly Tibet, to find evidence of potential alien threats.